Hi, you are welcome to the Real Pick YT YouTube channel. Today we are going to say about Apple Company. April 1 in 1976, Apple was founded, marking the company 41 years old as of the April 1 in 2017. Here's a historical background of the company. Apple history feature includes information about the foundation of Apple and the years that followed. We look at how Jobs made ways and why Apple was named at Apple. Apple visit to extra and the one button mouse. The story of the Lisa versus the Mitchentosh Apples 1984 at were directed by Cradle Scott. The Mitchentosh and the DPD the DTP revolution. We go on to examine what happened between Jobs and Squirrel leading to Jobs' departure from Apple and what happened during the wildness years when Steve Jobs wasn't at Apple including Apple's decline and IBM and Microsoft rise and how Apple teamed it up with IBM and Motorola and eventually Microsoft and finally the turn of Jobs to Apple. Jobs and Waze were introduced in 1971 by a mature friends, Bill Fernandez, who went on to become one of Apple's earliest employees. The two still go along thanks to their shared love of technology and pranks. Jobs and Wozniak joined Focus, initially coming up with pranks such as ringing in up a painting of a head showing the middle finger to be displayed during a graduation ceremony at Jobs School and a call to the the wet can the nearly got them access to the pub. The two friends were also using their technology know how to build blue boxes that made it possible to make a long distance phone calls for free. Jobs and Wozniak worked together on the Atari arcade game Breakout while Jobs was working at Atari and Wozniak was working at HP Jobs had topped ways into helping him reduce the number of logic chips required. Jobs managed to get a good bonus for the work on breakout of which he gave a small amount to Woz. The two still attended the Homebrew Computer Club together, a computer hobbyist group that gathered in California's Menlo Park from 1975. Wes had seen his first MITS Atari there which today looks like little more than a box of lights and circuit board and was inspired by MITS build it yourself approach to make something simpler for the rest of us. This philosophy continues to shine together in Apple's products today. So, Waze produced that the first computer with a typewriter like keyboard and the ability to connect to a regular TV as the screen. Later, Christened the Apple I, it was the archetype of every modern computer. But Wozniak wasn't trying to change the world with what he do produced. He just wanted to show off how much he do managed to do with so few reasons. Speaking to National Public Radio in 2006, Wes explained that 
when I built this Apple one, the first computer to say a computer should look like a typewriter. It should have a keyboard and the output device is a TV set. It wasn't really to show the world. Here is the direction should go. It was to really show the people around me to boast, to be clever, to get acknowledgement for having designed a very expensive computer. It almost didn't happen, although the ways we know now as a larger than life personality, his funded rock concert and charmed on dancing with the stars. But as he told the Sydney Morning Herald, I was shy and felt that I know little about the news developments in computers. He come close to ducking out altogether and giving in the club a miss. Let's be thankful he didn't. Jobs saw where's computer recognized his brilliance and sold his VW microbus to help found its production. Wozniak sold his HP calculator and together they founded Apple Computer Inc. April 1 in 1976 alongside Ronald Wayne. The name Apple was to case Apple problems in later years as it was uncomfortably similar to that of the BLT's publisher. Apple crops but its genesis was innocent enough. Speaking to Bit magazine in December 1984, was created Jobs with the idea. He was working for the time to time in the Ochts up in Oregon. I thought that it might be because there were apples in the Ochts row, maybe just its fruitarian nature. Maybe the world just happened to occur to him. In any case, we both tried to come up with better names but neither one of us could think of anything better after Apple was mentoring. According to the biography of Steve Jobs, the name was conceived by Jobs after he turned from Apple fair. He apparently, although the name sounded fun, spirited, and not intimidating. The name also likely benefited by beginning with an A, uh, which meant it would be near the front of any listens. There are other theories about the meaning behind the name Apple. The idea that it was named thus because Newton was inspired when an apple fell out of a tree hitting him on the head is blacked up by the fact that the original Apple logo was a rather completed illustration of Newton sitting under a tree. Later the company is still on the beat out of an Apple design for Apple's logo, a fair, simpler logo design. These logos are probably the reason for other theories about the meaning behind the name Apple, with someone suggesting that Apple logo with the chunk taken out of it is not at computer science sticks. And Enigma code breaker Alan Turning, who committed suicide by eating a cyanide in fleet Apple. However, according to Rob, Jan Forbes, the designer who created the logo, the turn-in connection is simply a wonderful urban legend. Equally, the bit taken out of the apple could represent the story of Adam and Eve from the Old Testament. The idea began that the apple represents knowledge. According to Steve Jobs, the company's name was inspired by his visit to an Apple firm while on Futarian did. Jobs, although the name Apple was fun, sprit and not intimidating, 
Apple's first logo, designed by Ron Wayne, depicts Isaac Newton sitting under an apple tree. It was almost immediately replaced by Rob, rainbow apple, the now familiar rainbow colored chill hoarded of an apple with a bite taken out of it. Rob presented jobs with several different monochromatic stems for the Bitten logo, and Jobs immediately took a lightning to it. However, Jobs insisted that the logo be colorized to humanize the company. The logo was designed with a bite so that it would not be confused with the cherry. The colored strips were conceived to make the logo more accessible and to represent the fact the Apple II would generate graphic in color. This logo is often erroneously referred to as a tribute to Alan Turing, with the bid maker reference to his method of suicide. Both Janoff and Apple deny any homage to Turing in the design of the logo. On August 27th in 1999, Apple officially dropped the rainbow scam and began to use monotomastic logo nearly identical in shape to the previous rainbow incarnation, an aqua-themed version of the monotomic logo was used from 1998 to 2003, and a glasses-themed version was used from 2007 to 2013. Steve Jobs and Steve Vonokias were BLT's fans. The Apple's Inc. had name and logo trademark issues with Apple Crops Limited, a multimedia company started by the BLT's in 1968. This result in a series of low side and tension between two companies. These issues ended with the settling of their low side in 2007. I think you enjoyed this story, so stay with us to find out what you didn't know about this world. And don't forget to subscribe to the YT YouTube channel. Have a nice day.